Welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. So, welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're out on Lake Huron with the Spark. One of the big questions I've been getting lately is about the Fire Tablet, using the Fire Tablet with the Spark. I did a, did a whole episode. I've got a page about how to sideload the uh, Go4 app on here. I've also got Lychee on here. I think I might have screen recording working. It is a little particular with screen recording, so but I think I got it working. If not, I want to try to get some of the glare down so maybe you can see it, but it's actually working, and I'm going to take it out for a bit of a flight. It's a little bit windy here today, so I'm not going to get too crazy. Uh, hopefully the wind noise isn't too bad on the hat cam. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to um, take it up. I've already checked hover. Everything is good. So as you can see, it launches. I've got, uh, I'm not going to start video. Well, actually I need to turn it to the video camera. And I want to make sure video started. So it appears to be counting down video. I don't know again if you can see it in the head cam. It's hard to, it's hard to fly the copter, get uh, uh, perspective on this and everything at the same time too. It's a bit of a challenge. Uh, so, anyways, we're up in the air. We've got it. It's hovering. We should have video recording. We see the waves out there breaking against the shore, which is kind of cool. Again, a little bit windy, so I'm not going to do anything too crazy. Just kind of want to do a little bit more experimentation. I am connected by OTG. Now, I'm utilizing this new bracket. I did a review on this a while ago, but it's a little bit small for the sparks. So I had to stick this in here, this uh, lens cleaner, to uh, you know have enough room. Also, the glare on the screen is pretty heavy duty. I don't have a glare shield for um, this tablet just yet, like I do for the other ones, because with regards to. Uh, pull out of my case here. So like you see in, in prior episodes with the iPhone 5S, I 3D printed the sun shield like that and I typically use it with uh, this bracket. Let me get it here so everything's straight. And so, but now I'm using this. Now, a couple folks said, you know, holding this, and I'm trying to minimize wind noise, maybe if I go this way, holding it against your chest is the way to go. And that's about what you sort of have to do um, is hold this against your chest. Uh, and it does make it for a little bit easier viewing. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to take this up. And again, I'm not going to do too much though. The wind is kind of kicking up. So I'm just going to kind of take it out. Take it out up over the lake. Just beautiful views. You can see the buoy out there. As we just kind of drift that way. Now I tell you what, the screen on this is, is really good. And I hope I'm getting screen recording. Um, you know, screen recording plus, you know, managing the video of the copter is a, kind of a lot to ask of this, uh, you know, $35 tablet. But it, it seems to be working. And like I say, I've flown the Phantom 3 and I've flown the Spark quite a bit with this uh, configuration very successfully. So, and we're now headed out. You see the water moving. I don't know why I'm not closing. It seems to be a little bit more. So now I have this one set to feet. So... I've got to recalculate my thinking, but you see the you see the two buoys out there, which define the shipping channel. In a prior video, I showed a couple. I showed a ship passing between those buoys. We got it out there, and so I'm just going to kind of fly out and then fly back. Um, so as I still got some pretty good battery, and if I got to come back in sport mode, so I got a little bit of weather I think coming in. Um, so just trying to get some flight time in there while I can. I'm fishing this week, so uh, trying to get some flight videos in. It's always fun to do. Just kind of keeping track of my surroundings as I fly out. Just really nice, uh, you know, coming into those buoys. Um, so just kind of bump it over a little bit in yaw as we come out there. Just uh, making sure. So I'm up, up up about 56 feet. So and again, I don't know if I've got screen recording. I don't know if you can see the screen, but uh, real time updates. I don't have any jitters. 
one of the big things I definitely recommend the OTG cable I mean I think to me that 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 really has been the center for the spark uh, it takes sometimes with the Android it takes a little bit to get it going but uh, once you do it, it really is good so I'm I'm now closing on closing on those buoys out there so I'm passing the first set of buoys and then let's uh, let's kind of keep it towards the uh, second set the red one and then once we get kind of out there we're out about 14 1500 feet straight out there and we're just crossing the shipping channels I don't have any ships coming so I'm in pretty good shape that other ships way 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 up there and so uh, again we're coming back pretty good and we're only about 60 feet up so uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna make it out there in this flight in uh, standard mode because I think uh, here in a minute or so I'm gonna turn it around clip it back up into <coughs> excuse me sport mode and head it on back on my way so I'm headed out about 1800 feet now pretty close to 1800 feet and we're closing on the red buoy which is Canadian side so large wind velocity I'm gonna see if I can't make it out there to 2000 it's starting to complain about wind velocity so I've made it back there I'm now gonna turn it back around my way and I'm gonna click it into sport mode and I'm gonna bring it back towards me this watch and I hear a plane off in the distance and we're bringing it sport mode does quick work And we're bringing it back in sport mode. So I'm hoping I beat home point return. It's going to be close. And I should be able to see it somewhere. Uh, whoop. There I am. And you can see me on the beach. And whoa! We're, uh, yeah, the wind's really kicking up. Ah, there it is. All right. And now well, let's bring it down. And here we go. So we made it all the way out there. That was a pretty good flight. And let me bring this. Oops. Let me click it out of sport mode. And let's yaw it around. So. And we're down to one light. We're down to one light. So I want to back it up a little bit. Stop the video. So hopefully, I want to restart and stop the video just to make sure the file's closed. Okay. And uh, I'm just going to set it down right there. And I'm going to stop the video again. So that should be good. So, again, another great flight with the... Uh, uh, fire so I tell you guys this has worked good for a $35 tablet I picked up on Amazon uh, this has really worked good 
So I haven't had any problems with it. I've flown it with the Phantom 3. I've flown it with the Spark. So I've used the regular DJI Go app as well as DJI Go 4. And so uh, very happy with flying it. So here we are out on Lake Huron. Another great flight of the Spark on Lake Huron. We took it out over those buoys. We flew it with the fire. We're all good. We made it back alive. Uh, I got a little nervous at the end, but uh, we made it in sport mode. Always do. So anyways, hey, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you're thinking about for lunch and eat. We'll catch you in the